watch this at the end if you guys have any questions on us. All right, so all we're working on, the main important thing, Jack, that you guys want to have for these, uh, these types of problems is the main important thing is just finding our information. So the first thing we're going to do is determine the amplitude. So as explained, the amplitude is going to be your absolute value of A, which in this case is the absolute value of 2, which is equal to 2. All right. The next one is going to be your period. Our period, remember, is going to be 2 pi divided by B, where B is going to be your coefficient of x. Well, in this case, our coefficient of x is 1. So therefore, our period is 2 pi divided by 1, which is 2 pi. Now, the next thing, after I figure out what the period is, I always like to figure out what the critical points are. So the critical points are going to tell me, or, or actually not so much the critical points, but when I take my period divided by 4, that's going to tell me the distance between all my critical points. So to find that distance between your critical points, you just take 2 pi and divide it by 4. I'm sorry, take always your period and divide by 4, which in this case we have pi halves. Now the next thing I like to do is, is kind of take, take, start with one period and see where one period is going to graph, and then you can graph the remaining periods. So when graphing one period, it's always helpful to find out the start and the end value. So to find the start, you take what's inside your function and set it equal to 0. So therefore, x equals negative pi. And then the end, you take what's inside your function, and you set it equal to 2 pi. So therefore, my graph ends at pi. So if you remember, what does the sine graph look like? Well, remember, we are going to have to want to have the parent graph understand what the parent graph is going to look like. So if you remember, when we were graphing the parent graph, the parent graph of the sine function looks something like this. It went up to 1, then it crossed, it went down to negative 1, and then came over there. That was the y equals sine of x. That's what the parent graph looks like. Now let's take a look at what my transformations have done to change this graph. First of all, our amplitude is 2. That means this distance, the half distance, or the half distance between my max and min is now not 1. Now that half distance is 2. So I'm going to go up to positive 2 and down to negative 2. My period is going to remain the distance of 2 pi. That has not changed. It's going to take a distance of 2 pi for this graph to complete a cycle. My critical points are still going to be pi halves between each other. However, my end point or my start point, and rather than starting my first period at 0, I'm now going to have my first period start at negative pi. And my end point is now going to end at pi. So if you remember these kind of points that we talked about, so if my, pi, if my distance between my critical points is pi halves, that means from here to here is pi over 2. From here to here is pi over 2, but pi over 2 plus pi over 2 is pi then this would be 3 pi over 2, and this would be 2 pi. And we can do that in the negative direction as well. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to take this graph and shift it over to pi. So now, rather than starting at 0, 0, I'm going to start my graph at, at, pi, at negative pi. It's going to go up to the first critical point, which is pi halves distance, up to 2. Then it's going to cross its next critical point, then go down to negative 2, and then finish at pi. So you guys see how this graph has now been transformed. It's been shifted to the left, right? Shifted to the left, pi units. It's been increased with its amplitude. But the period, the distance that it takes to complete a cycle is still the same. And then what we always want to do is always we're going to work on completing, drawing a graph of 2 pi. So I can just continue this graph, going in the positive and in the negative direction. So there you go. That's how you graph y equals 2 cosine of x plus pi.